Hello everybody. The past few weeks for us political junkies has been a smorgasbord of indulgence in politics. An unknown lady from Alaska came onto the scene at the Republican convention and wowed the crowd and I think probably energized John McCain more than he's been energized in a long time. And when you witness something like that, you wonder how that occurred. Now you may have a different uh, take on it, but I'm going to just tell you what I think. People are born with certain talents. They are born with talents that you can't acquire in school. It's just a natural thing that occurs. And I usually don't use a barometer like on a scale of 1 to 10. For example, I have a friend who is an elderly man and I don't feel comfortable riding in an automobile with very many people. But this guy is one of the best drivers that I have ever been in an automobile with. And I'm going to tell you how I use my scale of 1 to 10 barometer. When I speak of him, I call him the Michael Jordan of automobile drivers because he's really good. He just has a natural talent for driving. You find that same talent among the top NASCAR drivers. And there's been a popular video circulating around YouTube that also explains this natural talent. And they made a television program out of it called Britain's Got Talent. And most of the people watching this video probably watched Paul Potts and Connie Talbot. Connie Talbot, six year old, or is it six years old, wowed the crowd with her natural abilities. And I think Sarah Palin is a natural born politician. This lady is smart. And uh, before her speech, before the Republican convention, there was a lot of negative things written about Sarah and her family. And she came out on the stage like Paul Potts or Connie Talbot and wowed the audience. And I'm sure there are some seasoned politicians, especially female politicians, that watched her in envy because they cannot duplicate what she did. There are people out there that can. But that get, gets back to like Britain's Got Talent. Usually these extraordinary people come up on the scene instantly. Occasionally someone will come on the scene and wow the crowd and it only lasts for a short while. But then you have those individuals, and I'm going to use the Michael Jordan analogy, who have that Michael Jordan ability to wow the audience. And that's exactly what Sarah Palin did. 
If you were directing a movie, you could not create the backdrop that they created naturally with family. And it's a contagious thing to the people who see it. And most of us, well, I can only speak for myself, I know it when I see it, but you only see it when it happens. And did John McCain notice that talent? Or someone within his organization I think I heard a playback from a statement that Newt Gingrich made, I think back in April, where he had mentioned Sarah Palin, the governor of Alaska. But it'll be interesting to see how everything plays out in the next two months but I think it reinforces what I said in one of my other videos. This election for President of the United States is not going to be close and I predict that someone will win by a landslide. And I think that will be good whoever it is. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on the new person that is in the forefront of our country as John McCain's vice presidential candidate. So we're either going to have our first black president or the first female vice president in the history of this great country. And the Republicans have already made history by nominating Sarah for vice president. And of course we know the Democrats did it years ago with Geraldine Ferraro. So whether you be a Republican or a Democrat, if you are a political junkie like me, we are living in some exciting political times. And the political theater is going to go to the max. And I can hardly wait for the debates. Well, thank you very much for listening. We'll see you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.